Apparently we have a vine snake somewhere in here. You just have to find it. They're very well camouflaged, so they're not easy to see. And it's somewhere over this position. So maybe I should go... Oh, I see this is a double fence. I've only seen that now. I'm coming around. Oh. Hi, here we have one of, arguably, one of the most toxic snakes in Africa. This is the vine snake. It's one of three species you might find in relevant areas or regions of Zambia. This particular one is the what's generally known as the savanna vine snake, Thelotornis capensis. And uh, recognizable, if you're able to see it, not just by the orange tongue, but by the inverted Y shape on top of its green head. Now the other two species that you may find at other, in other areas of this country, but this is the most common one, would be Kirtland's vine snake and Oats vine snake. Now that thing that you see the snake doing right now is how most arboreal snakes or tree living snakes show agitation so what this snake is doing is basically warning me it's saying stay away stay away i'm going to bite you as you see with most snake like with most snakes it's constantly putting his tongue out it has a beautiful orange tongue with a black tip and uh, once again this time of year these snakes are very common <coughs> now it's a rear fanged snake and it has, uh, as compared to your front fanged and front hinged fanged snakes, it has quite an inefficient venom delivery system because they don't have poison fangs or venom fangs like hypodermic needles. They have grooved fangs which basically means that on the back of the fang there is a groove so as the, ve as the venom glands pump venom out when the snake bites its prey uh, because the fangs are at the back it has to chew to ensure that the fangs go in and then it relies on the venom running into the wound made by the fangs and holds on to its prey until it's dead so these ones might eat chameleons tree living frogs tree living lizards and such like these snakes can also occasionally eat other snakes. This is quite a nice one. It's a medium size. It's still got a, a few centimeters to grow, but allow me to show you this. Most snakes, when you hold them by the tail, are pretty useless. But vine snakes and other tree snakes are able, able to climb up their own bodies. Let's see if this one will. a bit hesitant. Okay, come on. Come on. The tail, as you can see, is very prehensile because they, they're used to hanging onto branches and being able to just at will climb back up to the branch. Snake with a very, very light body, very slender and an excellent, excellent climber. Come on, very observant. Unlike many other snakes, these snakes also have excellent vision. If you are close enough and you can see it, you'll notice that the pupils of the eyes are in the form of a horizontal keyhole shape. Uh, some of the experts claim that they have binocular vision like a bird of prey. But uh, one thing is for sure, their vision is much better than most other snakes. Um, now you see, even this that the snake is doing, majority of snakes can't do this. 
their bodies are too heavy and they're not strong enough to lift themselves up. Now this one, as you can see, it will slightly coil around itself and eventually it will climb up onto my hand. Lovely snake. Even here, I'm not even holding the tail. The snake is holding on to me. These snakes also have the habit of lying on the branches of bushes and, and low trees. You generally don't find them very, very high up. They tend to frequent more bushes, even, the, even if it is in a forested area. And these snakes have the habit of lying on the branches with as, as much as a third of the body just suspended in space. And they might stay like that for hours and hours and hours and without moving at all until they're disturbed, of course, and then they'll move off. There you can see he's deflated his neck. And all the time, this snake is holding on with the tip of its tail. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Oh, go up. Come on. Don't have a rest. No, you don't want to. All right. An impressive little snake. This snake's name in, uh, in Bemba is Kankuni, which I believe means stick. And in the more local language in this part of Kaunde, it is Bikuni Kuma, which means dry stick. As you can see, its body coloring is exactly the same shade and coloring as most branches and twigs on, on bushes and trees. And it's very, very well camouflaged. You can walk past the snake as little as a half a meter away from it if it's lying on a branch and the snake will not move at all and you would probably never see it. So I think because we're here at a, a residential area we'll just go and relocate this one somewhere else where both people and the snake are safe. <laughs>